Ooh. I love floating zones. Like, you see how bad that was? Yo, kill the- kill the rap- what are you doing? <sighs> I hate loading zones. Today was actually supposed to be UD taming and making the kibble farm, but I found something that I just can't pass up, so it's a thyla taming episode. Alright, very ugly trap built, but it will work. Can't get out, so I'm just gonna drop it in there, stand on top, and knock it out. Hopefully. More than likely, I'll just fall down in there and get shredded. Okay, so it was, it was around here. It was on that tree, I think? Is that one or the one beside it? Oh, there's another cat. Wait! WAIT! Is there two? Because that other one was... It jumped down. Hold on. If I found two 140... That's... That's insane. I didn't think I'd even find a high level Thyla on the island. Alright, come on. I can pick these up, right? Yeah. What? No, I know I've been able to before. Right? Yeah, okay, that's what I was about to say. Ugh, that bleed's gonna hurt. So I actually haven't had a Thyla since they got their update to where they can bleed. So they're even more OP now. Probably gonna be using these for the ice cave. Alright, so we're just gonna drop in the trap and uh, try to knock it out. Alright, there's that one. Now let's go- actually, before I do that, uh, I want to go see if there actually is another one. Okay, so yeah, I I think I'm just losing my mind, because I, I cannot find a Thyla. It could have gotten killed, but I don't think a 140 would get killed that easily. So maybe it just went back up the tree. I don't- I don't understand what happened there. Could have swore I saw it jump down on the ground, but I don't know. But anyway, I realized that I forgot everything, basically. I don't have- the food. So we're gonna go back, get some chocolates, because I have some of those left over. And these guys actually prefer cooked mutton instead of raw, so if we got any mutton left over, I'm gonna cook that up and uh, we'll come back and tame it. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I didn't find that Thyla that I thought I seen, but I did find this. That's a 150 aloe. And I've been wanting aloes, I'm definitely taming that, so we're getting Thylas and an aloe today. I just love how this stuff happens, like, you can plan out an episode, but something changes, and like, this, this is why ARK's fun. If you could plan out everything, and just follow up by the script, it would be boring. But anyway, let's go up here and tame this before I get distracted again. Uh, I went back to base, got some mutton, and one of the candy, well, two candies. But they can only have one. And then, uh, whatever gender this is, we'll get the opposite. And that'll be good enough for now. Eventually I'll have a crazy battle line, but just for now, an imprinted one will do just fine. What should not be here? What should just spawn? Okay, it's there. Alright, so what we're gonna do is Well, the hardest thing in Arc, which is trying to get a flyer to land where you want it to. Dude, just Just land, like don't fall through it. Land. Boom. Let's see, was that so hard? And it's out. All right. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, not the best, but I mean, it'll work. Let's give it this candy. Should just tame right up now. I have enough, right? Yeah. Okay, I was kind of getting nervous there. The next one, I have to go back and get more mutton for. I didn't think it'd take that much. Should have checked out at X. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, just under 5k health. That's not bad. Melee's quite low, but it seems to be my luck in this series. Oh well, okay, so it's a female. We need a male. 
Those stats are not great, that's for sure, but they'll work for now. Eventually, we'll have a crazy line. Alright, didn't think I'd be saying this today, but let's tame some aloes. Well, a aloe. I'm not gonna bother taming those other ones. Uh, yeah, we'll have it come in from that side, so we'll leave that open for now. Boom. Ooh, sketch. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with the RG, lay it in. If we lay it in the other end, so that's fine. We'll just, uh, kill them. Come on. Yeah. Um. Seriously? Alright. I think I just trapped the two bad ones. That's actually perfect. Because I can just kill these. Yeah, alright. You have the intense span of a goldfish. Come on. Jeez, it's so easily distracted. Come on. Let's just open this side. Go ahead and close this one. Hello. No! Ah. Didn't it shut so slow. Right. Nah, I'm not getting stuck in this. Come on! You have no idea how many times I've gotten stuck in creatures and lost a flyer that way. Okay, it's trapped. Good. No. Nope. I'm going to knock it out and head back to base and get some more mutton, which I'll have to cook up some more as well for the next Lila. And then we'll uh, we'll come back once we found a male, I think it is. Yeah. Alright, so I'm using my Spino to go around and find Thylas. Um No, I said I wanted a low-level male. Well, I didn't want one, but I'll settle for one just so we can breed, but like... Come on. <laughs> Come on. Level 5. It's pretty colors, though. Take, like, two arrows. Um. I'm tempted. Just be <laughs> Just because. Like, why not? Um. No, we'll come back to that. That's, like, last resort. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> And we're back to level five. Uh, we're we actually made a complete circle, so uh, this guy is going to be what we're going to be taming, and then I'll breed them, get all the stats onto a male and female, with the the other ones' uh, stats, and then we'll just imprint some, and we'll be good to go. Come on, we should already be running. I think it is. <laughs> Oh, it's not. Okay. No, it might be. No. Go away. Is there another one? I thought I saw another one. Alright, so we're not even gonna... 
Ooh, that was, that was sketchy. Okay. No! Go away! Alright, uh, we're not even gonna waste the candy on this guy. We're just gonna give him some mud here and call it. Wow, for a level 5 and still only gives that little bit? Yeah, I wouldn't even bother taming these guys unless you have, like, candies or uh, kibble, because you lose a lot of levels. Ah, hate the redwoods. Alright. Well, I'm going to head back to base and uh, copy all the stats onto a mating pair, and we'll be good to go. Alright, so I'll let this 152 grow up, and I've been breeding it with the... Uh, the female we got, now we've got uh, four with all the stats, and this one's actually mutated, melee mutation of course. Um, for once we don't actually want those, because this melee is too bad to mutate. Uh, but it's nice blue on top, so I'll hold on to it. But we have two females here, and a male. Uh, we're not going to imprint this one, because this will be our breeder, but we will imprint this one right here. And this one will be the one we're going to use for the cave we're going to do this video. Uh, if it can... There we go. Show off the little cuddle animation. Ah! There we go. I think it's adorable. Alright, let's see what your health is after mutate. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Well, uh, we'll come back once this little guy's all grown up, and uh, we're gonna go do the cave over by, um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're over here near the center cave, well that's what I call it anyway, but uh, here are the cores, just in case you guys wanna know where it's at. And uh, we've got our Thala all grown up here, imprinted, premi saddle, I've killed quite a few baby Rexes and leveled it up. A decent bit, so we should be perfectly fine to do this cave. So let's head on in. Might not be able to fit past this part, but we'll just cryopod and yeah. All right. Oh, I love this new bleed. Like it is so strong. Once we get a much better, like, Xyla line going, these things are going to be insane. Alright, let's go ahead and throw it out. Right. Yeah, we should be able to get through the rest of this. Hopefully. Oh, our throw. I do not want my gear getting broken. Doing some decent damage. I might just run past those, actually. Uh, from what I know, this cave actually isn't the best for loot, but we need the artifacts. I'm trying to get one at least every other episode. Fiomi a saddle, you know, for when we do the boss fight with those. Alright, and the artifact is right down here. There's usually some Sarkos, so you want to watch out for those. Please don't give me rabies. Ah, uh, shouldn't have said anything. I'll be able to survive it now. I'm actually level 99, 380 health. Probably gonna get to like 400 and then put the rest into uh, weight. Maybe 500 after we get those uh, overseer levels. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, there we go. I was trying to shoot the Arthro because they take a lot of damage from uh, bullet weapons. Alright. Let's clear everything out here and we'll start getting the artifact. Taking a decent amount of damage. Alright. I think there's a note. Yeah, right here it is. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, looks like we're all good. I think this is clever. Yeah. Spawned right back. We want to make sure everything's dead because anything can kill their little otter here. It's got like <laughs> 60 health. Alright. These are the only creature you can put artifacts on. That's why I had to get some last episode. So you can just keep farming this, so you don't have to keep coming back to the cave. You can usually get two, and it takes a while for it to respawn. I think I'm only going to get two from this cave right now, because I don't feel like sitting around and waiting, because this cave honestly is very easy, like you guys just saw there. Uh, we'll go back through and check for drops. Yeah, what is this? Oh, this is Briar's. Alright, that's two artifacts. Got Clever now. Put it on display. We're never going to take these out, by the way. We're going to leave them here. So eventually, we have all the artifacts around there. But, uh, I think that's going to be all for this video. Today, we actually accomplished a little bit more than I expected. I thought we'd just get some Thylos and the artifact, but now nah, we found an aloe as well. And it's got uh, top of its stats in the Dodo Dex. 47 levels in the melee. That's really nice. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we got a Thyla, which I'm probably going to name Korra as a reference to my old Thyla from an old series. But uh, I think I'm going to end it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.